Hello student. Now we are going to study about the geography paper second. That is GG202 physical geography paper second hydrosphere. Now we have to study about unit number four marine deposits and coral reefs. This unit includes marine deposits and coral reefs. In the study of marine deposits, we have to discuss about meaning of marine deposit, classification based on the sources of origin. The sources are terrigenous, biogenous, hydrogenous, and cosmogenous. Then the types of ooze, calcareous ooze and siliceous ooze. Then we have to study coral reefs, definition and formation of coral reefs, types of coral reefs. Here we have to discuss about fringing reef, barrier reef, atolls, table reef, and patch reef. Now we have to study about marine deposits. The unconsolidated materials that is the sediments derived from various sources and this material gets deposited at the sea floor are included in ocean deposits. Meaning of marine deposits. The unconsolidated layer of the sediments, commonly known as marine deposits. Marine deposits include all the materials which is accumulated on the floor of the ocean. Deposition of sediments occurs due to regular wearing of continental rocks along with the other materials such as plants and animals and cells of marine organisms on the ocean floor. Volcanic eruptions also provide sediments. Then the classification based on the sources of origin. Here we have to discuss about marine deposits. So here we can Sagar Talawar Nadi, Him Nadi, Vara, Ittyaji Karkan Mude, Galache Nikshapan Hote. Another classification of uh, ocean deposits. Here, the classification is uh, based on particle size and source of origin. The marine or ocean sediments deposited on the ocean flo uh, floor are derived from major sources, and uh, these sources are terrigenous sources biogenous sources, hydrogenous sources, and cosmogenous sources. About the terrigenous materials, these deposits are found on those parts of the ocean floor that lie comparatively closer to the land and are found on the continental shelf and the continental slope. 
these deposits are derived mainly from the land. Then sources, terrigenous materials sources. Under the process of uh, weathering, rock transformed into coarse to fine sediments. These sediments of continental origin are called as terrigenous materials. The deposits of the continental shelf and slope are mainly inorganic in origin. Rivers are the major agents of erosion on the, uh, on the surface of the earth. The eroded material is carried along with the flow and finally it is deposited on the ocean floor. Bhu Pradeshatil Krakavar Apakshe Kriye Dware Kaikani Rasainik Vidaran Ho Nirman Honarea Nikshapanala Bujan Mujibumich Nikshap Manta Yat Yate Vaishista Mende Erojan Dware Nirman झालेल्या पदार्थांचे म्हणजे अपक्षयाद्वारे निर्माण झालेल्या पदार्थांचे वहन त्यांच्या सोर्स पॉइंट पासून उगम स्थानापासून नदी हिमनदी वारा इत्यादी कारकांमुळे होते निम ओसाड म्हणजे सेमी एरिड प्रदेशातून बऱ्याच अंशी भूजन्य निक्षेपण प्राप्त होते या प्रदेशात पर्वताचे वितरण जास्त आहे निम ओसाड प्रदेशात पावसाचे प्रमाण कमी असल्याने अपक्षरण क्रियस रोध करणाऱ्या वनस्पती यांचे प्रमाण जास्त प्रमाण जास्त नसते परंतु मृदेचे भरपूर प्रमाणात अपक्षरण होत जाते सिन्स there is a much difference in the shape and uh, size the terrigenous materials uh, of terrigenous materials the peculiarity of this material is that to a certain extent it is sorted out according to the size of particles the boulders cobbles and pebbles are deposited near the coast the boulders, cobbles, and pebbles are the larger, uh, having a larger size. And these uh, types of sediments are deposited near the coast. Sand particles, the material smaller than the pebbles, are carried over longer distances and are found up to the edge of the continental shelf. Thus, the larger fragments lie close to the coast, while the finer particles or sediments are found away from the coast. Very fine sediments are kept in suspension in the offshore region. Transportation of particles of a different size depends on the strength of the waves and the ocean currents. On the basis of texture, mode of transportation and chemical properties, the terrigenous materials are broadly divided into gravel, sand and mud or clay. Gravel. Gravel is a coarse material varies between a powder and a granules. The size of the gravel ranges from a, di a diameter of 256 mm 
to 2 mm according to their size gravel may be subdivided like uh, boulder cobbles pebbles and granules boulders are having a size 256 millimeter cobalt 64 mm pebbles 4 mm and granules 2 mm gravels are deposited near the coast on the continental shelves due to the process of weathering there is a a reduction in the size of particles. Such a materials are brought to ocean through rivers. Then the sand. Sand is formed due to wearing of rocks. The sediments varies in diameter that is from 1 millimeter to 1 16th millimeter. On the basis of diameter, sand may be subdivided as uh, sand, uh, very coarse sand, coarse sand, medium sand, fine sand, and a very fine sand. Then, silt, clay, and mud. These are the final particles having a, a very, very less diameter. These particles are much smaller than sand. Clays are more finer than mud and act as cementing material of sediments. These materials are brought from the continents by the rivers. Clay and mud are deposited in calm water. Then mud. The mud is made up of finer particles of different rock forming minerals. The mud is usually blue, red or green in color. Blue mud. The compounds of iron impart this color to the mud. It contains about 35% calcium carbonate. It is found along the Atlantic and Mediterranean Sea. Red mud. Uh, 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 blue mud. Bukhandancha, Sabotancha, Sagri Kolgat Pradesha. आणि अल्प प्रमाणातील भूवेष्टित समुद्रात सर्वसामान्यपणे सर्वत्र निळ्या मळचे निक्षेपण आढळते यात फेरस आयन ऑक्साइडचे अस्तित्व असते याशिवाय ऑक्सिजन ऑक्सिजन आणि ऑक्सिडेशनची कमतरता असते रेड मट द हायली ऑक्सिडाइज्ड Compounds of iron impart red color. It contains 32% of calcium carbonate. It, uh, uh, it is found in the yellow sea of the coast of uh, Brazil and uh, Atlantic Ocean. Red mud. Blue Mud pecha, red mud, durmidasto, ferric oxide mude, murteketa ranga, halka pura, pura pasunta kirikwa tambrao, asto. Iron, uh, iron ache puruna pan oxidation hote, ani rupantrana prakriya puruna hote. Green mud. It is a derived from chemical weathering. Due to reaction of sea water, blue mud is turned into green mud. It contains green silicate of 
potassium and a gluconite. Found, uh, uh, this mud is found along the Pacific uh, and uh, Atlantic uh, Ocean. Then, biogenous uh, material. Biogenous sediments contain at least 30% material from once living marine organism, especially plankton. Some uh, biogenous uh, sediments uh, from close to their source like uh, calcium carbonate deposits along a reef. Other biogenous sediments from as a tiny cells sink to the bottom of the sea. Biogenous sediments originate from the hard pellets of uh, organic uh, organisms such as cells, bones, etc. Sakri Galacha Nikshapana Made Mahatwata Devika Nikshap. हाँ है देविक निक्षेपात प्रमुख है सागरी देविक उत्पत्ति पासुन गाड़ाचे निक्षेपन होते उदाहरणार्थ कवच सागरी प्राणी वो वनस्पति दें हाइड्रोजनस सोर्स इट इस कम फ्रॉम chemical reaction in the water. Sakiri Pane Pasun Pratyaksha Avakshep Tairhon Khani Dravencha Gaalancha Nikshapanas Jalajiya Nikshap Ashe Mantha Jalajiya Gaalancha Nikshapanas Staniya Nikshap Ashe Hi Mantha कारण यचे निर्मिती तेंचा अस्तित्वाचे ठिकानित होतस्ते. These statements are solidified out of ocean water. It is from minerals that crystallize directly from sea water. Then cosmogenous materials. These uh, sediments uh, come from space carried to earth on meteorites. This is uh, usually in the context of uh, minor star dust. In this way, there is a classification of uh, material and based on the sources of uh, origin. Next part will be continued during the next period. Thank you.